Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Luckin Coffee and how Luckin Coffee long term can make you a millionaire. Um, just my opinion only. If you find this video useful or helpful in any way, I would appreciate a thumbs up. It, you know, it helps YouTube promote my content more, hopefully. But uh, I think the biggest problem is my voice. A lot of people are going to come across my voice and they're going to be like, I don't want to listen to this guy. He sounds like a, a, for, a fob. If you guys don't know what a fob is, fresh off the boat. So anyways, moving forward. Uh, so I saw this video and this guy has 424 subscribers and he had 5,572 views. Uh, on making a video about luck in coffee and I was like you know what maybe I can get a lot of views if I make a video on luck in coffee who knows we'll see what happens but I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers anyway so luck in coffee crashed from $26 on April 1st all the way down to $4.91 on April 2nd, 2020. Bounced almost 100% uh, within the same day. So if you caught that bottom, you would have doubled your money instantly in a very short amount of time. And then crashed again. And then bounced again another 28%. Ever since then, it's been on a steady decline of... 38.23% but it's only been a few days and the stock is simply oversold at the moment and I think it's going to do uh, another bounce especially if good news can come out because as you know the reason why Luckin Coffee uh, fell is because the COO, uh, Chief Operating Officer uh, basically fabricated or lied about the actual sales number of Luckin Coffee and uh, because of that the stock plummeted big time and I think this I honestly think it's an overreaction and I think the company ha does have some value maybe it's lost some of the rich people uh, some of the rich people's uh, trust because this you know when rich people were in it the stock was at $27 uh, now it's at $5.38 uh, depending on what it opens on Monday, my video may cause people to buy the stock and we might see it bounce really hard again on on Monday. Uh, but who knows at the end of the day, it does look like an interesting play in my opinion. So anyways, uh, Luckin Coffee, let's look at some of the fundamental. It has a $1.36 billion market cap. Uh, and uh, it is traded in the USD, so this is it's worth 1.36 billion US dollars. So if somebody who is a billionaire wanted to buy a Luckin Coffee, they would have to basically pay 1.36 billion. But uh, you know, if they wanted to attempt to try to buy out the entire company, it would cost about 1.36 billion. Uh, but let's look at the uh, let's look at the charting. If we look at the charting, they are simply oversold right now. The RSI is at nineteen. Uh, I'm expecting a bounce. I'm expecting the stock to bounce uh, back to around ten dollars because it's way out of the Bollinger Band, and I'm expecting it to push back into the Bollinger Band sometime in the near future. It may continue to go down further, and the further it goes down the more of a buying opportunity becomes, you know, disclosure, I'm not a financial advisor, I do not have a position in Luckin, I just came across it because I was looking for content to make, and this stock does look very interesting to me because I've done my research and I'm thinking that this could be a good play. Uh, and if you think long term, it could make you a millionaire again, simply because this stock was at $50 at one point. So, you know, if the possibility of it ever going back to $50 and you had 20,000 shares, you would be a millionaire. 20,000 shares at $50 would make you a millionaire. But, you know, if you bought more and gambled it going up to 20, let's say if you bought in, I don't know, 30,000 shares or 40,000 shares, then you could easily make you a millionaire at 
you know, $27 or $28. If, if it ever goes back there again, I don't know if it will go back there ever again. I know they have problems, but because of their problems, that's the right, that's the reason why the stock sold off. This could, this honestly, in my opinion, creates an opportunity. You don't make money when a, the, a company looks perfect. You don't make money. You don't really make money. You bought the stock at $20 because you only would make, you know, double your money. Uh, but at $5, and if it went back to $27, you would 5x your money uh, because, you know, 5 to 27, that is 5x if you do the math. So the, right now, the return on investment is ridiculous. Now, I always like to look at the financials. It's I think it's very important. Of course, the revenue is fabricated because of the whole... Uh, news there's the reason why their stock was so down but if you look at the balance sheet which I find which I I always think that balance sheet is way more important than uh, than the actual revenue if we look at the balance sheet we can we can clearly see that the cash position is a total of 5.5 million dollars as ending of September 30th 2019 and they have a total amount of debt of um, 236 uh, thousand 236 million dollars of debt uh, but they have five billion dollars in cash this is not US by the way this is CNY CNY cash so if you convert the CNY to US uh, five. Take out calculator. Uh, I already did the math here. Five, uh, five billion, five point five billion equals seven hundred and seventy-six million dollars in cash. So ending of September thirtieth, two thousand nineteen, this company had a total of seven hundred and seventy-six million dollars of cash. So that is a very good amount of cash, and they are worth. If we look at the summary, they are worth. 1.362 billion dollars so you know from that perspective it's not bad but at, at the same time it may continue to sell off further i would i would be in this short term for an oversold bounce i would that's how i would play this but uh you know that's my opinion only not advice financial advice for anyone i think the stock will bounce in the short term and you can make a decent coin off of it but again, not financial advice. So the liabilities is not that you know, it's not that much. It's like hardly anything. The the debt is hardly anything. And then the shareholder equity is six point four billion dollars. So, you know, that is roughly seven no, that's roughly eight hundred million US dollars, a little bit more than eight hundred million US dollars, which is which is not bad, you know, in my opinion. So uh you know, it risk versus reward. Of course, you know the the lower the stock price goes, the better it the better investment it becomes. Like let's say if it went back down to two dollars, then you know that you know, right there would be you know a huge like a no brainer in my opinion at two dollars per share. But I don't think it'll go down to two dollars per share. At least not in the short term. Maybe the medium term, like you know, if bad if that more bad news comes out for luck and coffee it could go down further but they do have a lot of cash on the balance sheet to weather the, out the storm and i think the lower it goes the more of reward versus risk it becomes because i don't really think luck will go bankrupt even with this fraud they might get they're already getting lawsuits so you know they might lose a little money a little bit money there but over Ultimately, overall, I think if you look long term, I think the stock will recover in my opinion. So let's look, let's compare Starbucks to Luckin. Uh, Starbucks has a total of 31,256 stores worldwide and Luckin only has about 4,507 stores, which exceeds the amount of stores in China. So they are beating Starbucks in China at the moment and they still have room to expand overseas like in the United States, Canada, internationally. They just need more money. Uh, like they do have enough money to continue to grow. 
uh, and hopefully China can fund them. But let's be honest, I don't think Luckin would do very well in the United States because Starbucks would destroy them. Starbucks is too big of a brand. Like, you know, I might try out Luckin, uh, but you know, at the end of the day, is the is Luckin products better than Starbucks? Because I believe Starbucks has the better branding. But if Luckin has the better coffee, then I might be a little bit more bullish. I've never tried Luckin coffee before, so I have no idea. But as a brand, I think Starbucks is just will destroy them. But Starbucks is also worth. Billions and billions of dollars more than uh, Luckin Coffee. So, you know, that's the return on investment. Luckin has not expanded in the United States. They are starting to expand in the Middle East and India, but they are not expanding in the United States right now. Uh, I think they're staying away from the United States, or maybe they're studying the market and eventually will go into the United States when they, once they have better coffee. You know, We'll see what happens there. So, you know, now I want to talk about Luckin's, like, journey. So, uh, when the, uh, before the IPO, they raised $200 million in June 2018. Another $200 million uh, in November 2018. On April 2019, they raised another $150 million pre-IPO fundraiser. And then... Uh, Luckin, when they went public, they sold another six hundred and forty-five million fully exercising green shoes option. So they raised another six hundred and forty-five million dollars. And then on uh, January twenty twenty, it's also completed a following shares uh, shares sale and a uh, convertible bond with a combine of nine hundred and eighty million dollars. So they almost raised. Two billion dollars of cash, uh, which you know I don't know what they did with the cash. Maybe they used it to pay back their debts or whatever. But uh, I have no idea at the end of the day what they did with their cash. Uh, but they they did raise over two billion dollars of cash, and they are expanding quite fast. So you know, let, let's see what happens. You know, I still I'm optimistic. I I think Locking can do decently. You know, yes, they lied about their earnings, but I still think Star. I still think Luckin, you know, st- uh, if you look long term, I think Luckin could succeed. I mean, business is hard. I know that for a fact. But coffee sells. Lots of people drink coffee in this world, and if Luckin does have a good product, then they, I think, they could succeed long term. Uh, the branding, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so optimistic on. Uh, but you, if you cu- if you did your research on Luckin Coffee, and you saw the short seller al- allegation that happened on January thirty first, twenty twenty, and then you decided to short Luckin stock, you would have make you would have made it out like a bandit, like a bandit. Um, because on January, you know, on January thirty first, the stock was at thirty one dollars. And if you like bought long term put options, you would have made some decent coin and then eventually it would have broke and you would have you would have made a fortune. A fortune if, if you uh if you shorted you had some long term sh- uh, put options on luck and coffee, let's say like three months out or four months out, uh yeah, you would have made a ton of money off luck and coffee. Uh, yeah, with put options in my opinion, you know, but uh, if you do your research and you believe the short sellers was onto something and you use that to uh, short lock in stock, you would you would have made off like a bandit, like a bandit. Um, you know, at least that's my opinion. Uh, now just to kill off some time. Uh, oh wait. Uh, no. Okay. You know what? Yeah, Starbucks. Uh, yeah, Starbucks. Seventy-four billion. Luckin is, you know, one point three six billion. Big, big difference. Uh, except for the and I guess the location is also a big difference. Uh, Starbucks has thirty-one thousand, while uh, Luckin, which started uh in two thousand seventeen, now has a total of four thousand five hundred and seven locations. And uh, you know they could they could expand to United States and they could succeed and they could be a multi-billion dollar company in the future. Who knows at the end of the day? 
uh, I know business is hard, so you know there's there's a possibility it could fail. But will they go bankrupt? No, I, they, they, at the moment they don't look like they'll go bankrupt because they're not over leveraged. They have more cash than their debts, so that's you know that that's a safe company in my opinion. It's just. What is the best time to buy Luckin? Nobody really knows. I, it looks like an attractive price point right here. And the further it goes down, the more attractive it becomes, in my opinion, only. So, uh, CCL, I'm going to end it off with Carnival. Carnival is, you know, um... Yeah, I think Carnival is going to go down further. I think we're gonna, we could see Carnival at 5 US dollars in the near future here, in my opinion, only. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I think what, but we'll see what happens on Monday. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.